latest on the Israel-Hamas war. Hamas announced the acceptance of a ceasefire proposal today, but tonight Israel is conducting strikes in Rafah. WGN Shannon Halligan has details. Yeah, the Egyptian Qatari negotiated ceasefire proposal was the first glimmer of hope that a deal might avoid further bloodshed. But tonight, the optimism appears to be waning. This is what the streets of Rafah looked like Monday evening. Palestinians celebrated the announcement by the Hamas militant group that it had accepted a ceasefire proposal. In Tel Aviv, Israelis took to the streets at the same time calling on their government to accept a proposed deal for the return of hostages held in Gaza. But the Associated Press reported that celebrations have been dampened after Israel said the deal did not meet its core demands. It's been an incredibly chaotic few hours here. Hamas came out first. They said that the ceasefire would be phased over several weeks that would see a pause in fighting for women and the elderly to be released first in exchange for hundreds of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli prisons that would then go on to see military aged men and soldiers released in exchange for more prisoners and a permanent calm in the fighting. Instead of a pause in fighting, explosions and smoke were seen in the direction of Rafah in the Gaza Strip, something the State Department spoke out against earlier in the day. We believe a military operation in Rafah right now would dramatically increase the suffering of, of the Palestinian people, would lead to an increase in loss of civilian life. President Joe Biden had been briefed on Hamas's response in the ongoing ceasefire talks. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said the U.S. and its partners were still reviewing that response, but the president reiterated to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that any operation in Rafah would put more than a million people at risk. During his call with Prime Minister Netanyahu, the president again made this clear. He also made clear that we continue to believe that the hostage deal is the best way to avoid that sort of an outcome while securing the release of those hostages. And American officials said the U.S. was examining whether what Hamas agreed to was the version signed off to by Israel and international negotiators or something else. Despite pushing ahead with an assault on southern Gaza, Israel said it would continue negotiations. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon.